Love. Love Line is meant for an adult audience. Love Line may contain sexually oriented content. With sexually oriented content. Listener discretion is advised. Listener discretion is advised. This is Love Line. With Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Dr. Drew is a board-certified physician and addiction medicine specialist. Tonight, the bravery is uh, in studio tonight. Sam Endicott and John Conway both here representing. I'm guessing there's an article in... Uh, this Stuff. month's uh, Stuff magazine that features the bravery. Mm -hmm. Top 10 uh, artists to watch. Uh, so says Rolling Stone, Ooh, Drew. Nice. Also, uh, Spin Magazine calls him the next big thing. On uh, Leno, Tonight, The Tonight Show. That's this evening, right? You, you guys, yep. you guys yeah. did that at 5.30, 6 in the afternoon? Yeah, it's going to be on, I guess, in like two hours. How was it? That's good. I was kind of scared. You were uh, well, a little bit. It's intimidating. It's, for some, I don't know. We've done other. We've done a bunch of TV shows, but for some reason, the Tonight Show, yeah, just hit me. It's, it's more, a, I guess, a part of history. In a way. Yeah, I right. Can see that. For me, it was uh, doing the home team with Terry Bradshaw. That was rough. Well, that, I was so nervous. <laughs> that's where I really busted yeah. my cherry. It took you know? a while. Yeah, yeah it took me. I, I'd been watching him for like six weeks before that. You know, so when you grow up, uh, yeah. The here's the thing about the Tonight Show. Tonight Show, for everybody uh, between the age of, I don't know, 25 and 80, it, it represents the the pinnacle. You've made it. You're on the Tonight Show. Yes, yeah, Drew, have you ever been on the Tonight There's four people in this it. room. <laughs> Three of them have been on the... No, actually, five people. I'm going to count Engineer Chris. Thanks, Hold man. on, Chris. If you've been on the Tonight Show, Drew, you're going to have to just fall on a pen. Uh, <laughs> There are four people in the room. Three of them have been on the Tonight oh, Show. I Drew, totally left out. Yeah, yes, but you know the thing about no, I don't want to. I don't want to burst your bubble. But <laughs> the thing about the Tonight Show is, uh, it isn't obviously there are other shows on TV. When we grew up, we watched the Tonight Show. It was the only thing on TV at, at midnight. Now, meaning we, meaning you and me, not these guys. Yeah, these guys <laughs> are young. Yeah, but even these guys. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, they had other channels. We had three. How many channels did you guys have growing up? I think uh, it started with thirteen or so. No, when did you were growing up, cable. 20 I mean, when did when did cable come touch your life? <laughs> <sighs> At what point know. could you not get porn? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, I could, like, you mean scramble size? Like, <laughs> yeah, like scramble style. Yeah. Channel yeah. thirty-five or something. Yeah, I remember. So that. you had you had some kind of multi-channel access your whole life. Wow. Yeah. See, wow. 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 see they don't know from pain. Yeah. They just the kids today. Yeah. And that's why they're soft, Drew. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> we have to find ways to amuse ourselves. They call themselves the bravery, but uh, they just call themselves the wuss because uh, <laughs> they're not hungry. Like the softery. Are. They don't know what it's like to play with a wiffle ball and uh, sit around playing that game where you slap the top of the other guy's hands real hard. For it, hours. Yeah, not at a bus depot in your living room. Uh, yeah. We've played that. Yeah, uh, have? yeah, I'm actually the world champion in that slap oh, game. Oh, really? He's un literally he's really? unbelievable. Literally. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> literally unbelievable. <laughs> you literally yeah, won't 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 it. It's intimidating to play because then there's the, the people that do the, the little flinch yeah, and then yeah. there's people do a little finger tickle, that kind of <laughs> gay palm thing which just creeps you out and then they slap you. It's, uh, the There's no tricks with him. It's just pure raw. Really? Just no, I don't even slapping, do the like a blue away. I won't move my hands. Just pure hand speed. Yeah, just, just pure reflexive hand speed. Oh no, I won't move. You could just hit him. Oh, you don't see, see it. That's like Russian style. It's, he's it's very sad. Oh, 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 I see. I see. Give me your best shot. Wear yeah. out your opponent. Yeah, uh, rope a dope. Uh, hand up. Uh, pan or whatever you call <laughs> the hand pan. version of uh, rope a dope is float like a butterfingers. Uh, the uh, the guys, so like I said, going to be on the uh, Tonight Show uh, tonight. In the in the audience was uh, was good, was receptive. They were Sound great. Was good. They you know they cheered it at, at the beginning, obviously when we first started playing, and then you like went into a keyboard solo, and they started cheering again. Oh, you do, so like, you I do sing. They don't cheer for me, but he goes into the guitar, into the keyboard thing, and they're just like. <sighs> Ladies love the keyboard. You, you just so. play the one keyboard, though, because I, I want you. To, I, the thing I'm trying to bring back is that uh, late '70s, early '80s hair band. Yeah, the yeah, spread eagle. We've been talking about that. Not only yeah. massive spread eagle, but different elevations. One's about eight feet off the ground. The other one's actually just sitting on the floor. And, and then he you knows what you're massive, talking about. He knows. Massive spread that. eagle. And He's it, bringing it back. And then you can rock, and you got to look around when you're doing it. You know? My thing is keyboard players used to wear doctor's That's uniforms. what I was going to say, oh, yeah. too. And what happened to that? 
Yeah, what happened yeah, to Scrubs, Drew? Yeah, the revolution. Right. Where I'm friends in the what happened to Scrubs in general? Guys in bands used to wear Scrubs. Guys who were just sort of cool guys not who, cool. who went to junior college wore Scrubs. Like, people wore Scrubs around. Yeah, it's before uh, Juicy. The worst boner uh, apparel in the world, by the way. Scrubs. <laughs> I mean, worse when than... When a doctor gets a boner, that's, that's embarrassing. <laughs> worse than sweatpants, right? Worse. <laughs> I mean, Scrubs considerably worse than sweatpants when you in the boner Scrubs department. actually have like a metal woven into them. They they're, do? They're like indestructible. Yeah, really? Yeah. But they're, they can't hold a boner back. No, no. They, they're they very puffy pant. Yeah, there's um, no... Do they have pockets? Yeah. Some, some in the back, basically. Just one in the back. What was their first color? Blue and then they came in green? I think they were green originally. And then came in blue? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. You know what? You could you could you could follow the scrub color. History. Now this is a little esoteric here, oh, but please. remember when it used to be blue screen and then it went to green screen? Yeah, oh, I think parallel. scrubs change color about the same time. What do you think of that? I think that's just fascinating as they call. That's that's what you call heavy, fellas. All right, so uh, surgical scrubs and yeah, get get the two Casios or uh, or Hammonds or whatever they whatever it's going out down no, today and spread them way apart and put them at different heights and then you have to get in a sort of linebacker stance where you can really rock, all right? And then the scrubs, like I said, optional mask, but wear that down around the you collar. See how stuff identifies these bands? Those sharp dressed bands, no scrubs. Oh, oh I see. Dressed. Okay, but the key keyboard. Well, the second album. It's just the keyboard. <laughs> yeah, all scrubs. Levin. Yeah. What's happening? Um, not a lot. Long time listener, first time caller. Great. What's up? Um, I'm having these laceration thingy mabobbers. Like, they kind of grow, and then they don't, like, explode, but they kind of pop open, and they're, well, of course, they're on my genitals, but, um, and, like, it wasn't, like, oozing out blood, but, you know, I put my finger on it, and, like, I did get a little trace of blood on my finger, and I can't go to are my you, Are you sexually active? Um, I've uh, received oral one time. Did that person maybe have herpes? Um, it's possible. I, I don't think so. I'm not in contact. You gotta, you gotta find that dude and talk to <laughs> That's him. That's right. Yeah. And why aren't you, why aren't you going to see a doctor about this outbreak? <laughs> yeah, uh, you yeah. heard me. Levin, there's no way I can even imagine what you're describing. But it sounds like herpes, yeah, right? Like like well, the thing is, the person yep. lives in Hawaii now. She lives in Hawaii. She went to right. boarding school. Levin, how about going to see a doctor when you're having one of these lesions so we can figure out what they are? She went to boarding school in Hawaii? Yeah, her parents what said Surf boarding what school. Kind of surf no. boarding school. Drew, write that down. It's a UPN <laughs> hour long. <laughs> Sunday night, UPN. Got it. Got it. 9 o'clock, surf, surf boarding surf school. school. Oh, wow. Hold on. Troubled teens. You, on. young lady, are going to surf boarding school and then they hear that sort of Dick Dale guitar come in hot chicks surfboarding school yeah. North Shore meets uh, North Shore boarding and, and they could be like a skateboard camp nearby no, 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 no. Do you no, work true, the no. oral herpes into it or not? Into the surfing, surfboard yeah, that's, school? That's what we call B story. Oh. B story. <laughs> that's it's it's, it's, it's yeah. our where, 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 where do we take that? I see it just it happens. You get a little education. Oh, out of that. I think first, it writes itself. First that's... appearance, special guest appearance by the chick got her arm bit off by the shark. Oh, awesome. She's hot. Can't think of her name. Get her name. Chris, get her name. Booker. Booker. All right. Oh, true. Surf boarding school. What the? Who goes to boarding school but, but in Hawaii? It, but you got you got to understand the play on words. Surf boarding school. Yeah, surf surfboard. boarding. Yeah, yeah. Surfboard school. Yeah, yeah. We'll make sure all the act during media training. We'll get all the actors. Well, but the point is, right. the, the surfboard will be in one color, and the ing will. Right. Right. Oh yeah. And then there's yeah, there's the troubled sort of gothy chick. Oh, sure. Where it's like piercings. a black one piece yeah. piercing well, we'll a black bathing board. But we got to get her out there. We got to get her a bathing suit and get her on board. We got to get her on board. Yeah, because yeah, it's therapy. Yeah. Yeah, it heals. The ocean heals. Do you know your body has the same salt content as some <laughs> the ocean? <laughs> but it, Levin, with his thing, it could, would hurt. So that's why he can't go. Oh, out. yeah. Salt water would sting yeah. and pecker, oh. Levin. And it would probably draw sharks. <laughs> Is it really easy to get herpes from oral sex? Yes, really easy. Well, Sorry, Levin. Guys. Uh, yeah. Why is she going to boarding school in Hawaii? I'm more, okay. I'm more interested in this. You guys are dead on that. We were surfing that day that she gave me oral. You, we were surfing. You, so you were you in Hawaii? Hawaii? By the way, that's a, that's a good day for a 15 year old. Yeah, <laughs> well, surfing is my passion. Yeah, all right. Oral. Yes, it was a good day. <laughs> I think he said surfing is his passion, but uh, oral's <laughs> mine. <laughs> Receiving that is. Yeah. Hey, uh, eleven. Yeah. We're now. Wait a minute. Were you in Hawaii with her? Um, no, we were in Northern California where we live. And she went to boarding school in Hawaii. Yeah, her parents got set up with her. Um, 
I don't know. I can't get it out of my head. Surf boarding school. Right. I can't get it out. But keep it in your head. But keep it in your mouth, too, you would guys, you? When you guys said that thing about, like, the show and everything, that cracked me up because, like, we were surfing that day, and I spent the night at her house. It just... You, I mean, you guys like oh. pieced it together. Listen, Lemon, enjoy your young life. It's all downhill from here. Believe you me. You're not going to have any more surf days with Oral. Uh -huh. So <laughs> she is in Hawaii because why? That's She's a good student. She's a troubled student. Um, I don't know about her student stuff, but she, you know, she messed up and her parents got tired of her. And I think she got into drugs and stuff. Yeah, so. well, that'll teach her. You're going to Maui, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's love it. You need a yeah. doctor. Missy, you want to eat macadamia nuts, uh, listen to ukulele music, and uh, dine on a uh, roast pig? You got it, Missy. The way you describe those leaders. And you know what? You're flying business, not first. Uh-huh. I'm putting my foot down. All right, first. <laughs> You're going to Maui. <laughs> I didn't go to Hawaii. I was just 28 the first time I went to goddamn Hawaii. Stayed like a, a, a holiday inn. Slept on the floor. Are you kidding me? You're a bad students, so you go to Hawaii? All right. I'm angry at everybody. Yeah, not a great idea. You all disgust me. Uh, Levin, what you've described is meaningless. It could be infection. It could be psoriasis. It could be herpes. You need to get a doctor to look at it and see what this is. Mm. Oh, man, I'm thinking about this. How do you say it again? Surfboarding school. Surfboarding <laughs> school. Yeah. Surfboarding school. Yeah. Uh, episode three, big competition with the males. The male boarding school. Oh, think, think about talk about opportunities for frolicking. It'd be a hit. Yeah, I mean, it's just you got to get the. It's it's the next oh, Baywatch. Oh man, man, I, yeah, Adam, I can see it. See it now. Yeah. We have to do this. Yeah, very beginning, beginning, first shot. Beautiful Hawaiian woman, w offshore wind. She's wearing like a strong. It's blowing helicopter shots, sweeping, booming helicopter. Shot. She's blowing the conch. Ooh. <laughs> we pan, we come by, we pull in tight on the surfboarding school, and everything's about surf. But it's yeah. got to be. It's got to be like six feet under, a, a, an ensemble of her troubled kids. Comic, yeah. got to have a comic twist. It, it is. Comic. Oh no, no, yeah. because there's the funny stoner Hawaiian yeah. teacher. Oh, and then also the goth chick that's got all kinds of it. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's, it's waiting awesome. to be done. It's awesome, you guys. Anything you guys want to do the music for? The, uh, I think you need to bring back the beach montage that they watched. Oh, the, yeah, the yeah. frolic. Yeah, the yeah, frolic. Yeah, no, no, well, it'll be there. Don't worry. Sonic drum. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> and it got people running. A lot of slow motion. A lot of frolicking. Yeah. There could yes. be spinoffs like snowboarding school. Oh, oh my god. That's like in the fifth season. You do the spinoffs. Yeah. Or snowboarding oh, school. The really misbehaving yeah, kids. Yeah, wakeboarding school. <laughs> Maybe clipboarding school? Uh, oh, no. Skateboarding. For, like, the really smart kids. Clipboarding Skateboarding. Uh... A lot of guys following coaches or, along the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Clipboarding school. That would be like season eight. It wouldn't or be as high then, rated. By though. then, they'll buy anything we give them at that point. <laughs> it, no pilot for clipboarding school, by the way. The <laughs> network is ordered 26, just based on the strength of our snowboarding and ironing boarding school. <laughs> boarding school. <laughs> boarding school. <laughs> Silk. Adam Corolla. Corolla. Yeah, we're replacing Marco Polo with Adam uh, Corolla. I don't know right. if you guys have heard. So spread it around, please. Go ahead, uh, Silk. All right. Well, uh, tonight I got a question for the guys in the uh, bravery. I want to know um, who you guys look up to when it comes to uh, making music. Hmm. That's a broad and deep question. It's true. Uh, for me, I am a big fan of Brian Eno because he was, um, you know, kind of a a rock star performer guitarist guy that then became a a producer and so he he was able to crank out a lot of really great pop stuff but then also did some of the most forward looking albums yeah his name used to be everywhere all the time i i haven't i don't know what's going on. i haven't heard that much uh from him or by him in the last he's uh, doing whatever. a new travis record he's he's producing i mean he did you know u2 a oh. lot of those records. I've never heard of that band. Uh, hey, were they around? Yeah. Mid-80s? Something like that. Bono? Um, Bono? 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 Like yeah. Bono. But so, his stuff uh, is some of the best produced Brian stuff Eno. out there and, and really well-written. So, what about you, John? Um, I like bands. Uh, I think The Clash is probably the best mm -hmm. example of it. Uh, if you do a band that can just progress through yeah. you know, like a variety of different musical styles, but you know, they kind of always make it their own. Whether it's you know punk rock or dub reggae or disco, Silk. Yeah. You are uh, planning on uh, starting a band? Uh, I don't know, maybe. All right. What are you doing? Writing for the school newspaper or something? Well, I'm in the yearbook staff. Oh, you are. Yeah. Do you get do you get a free yearbook when you get involved with that? Because that, uh, that'd be the only yeah. way they could get me. We do. 
Free yearbook. Yeah. Sweet. All right, uh, Silk. All right, thank you. You got uh, Eno and you got The Clash. Great. Good All right. Now he's got to go on the computer and look up Brian Eno. <laughs> Uh, in the clash, it's sick. Oh, in the clash too. <laughs> yeah, uh, I still. Uh, I'm gonna go get my uh, diploma. By the way, you are. Yeah, I owe North Hollywood High 1995 for uh, and we, give it we the people the history book, and uh, they never gave me my diploma because I wouldn't pay the money. So you're gonna get it. Oh, yeah. that, oh, that's gonna be part. I of took your, a stand. That's part of your, your series. Are they oh, yeah. the, interest? the cameras will be rolling on that one. Yeah, I'm wondering about that. Yeah, because I don't know. Book room interest has got to be more than uh, like a pawn shop. Right? Do they have interest at the book room? <laughs> no. Well, what's library interest? Like, if you don't. Oh, that's library, that's you know? that's tough. Yeah, they have to be sort of on the same on the same par. Yeah. Yeah. Book. I've you know had done some uh, hellacious battles with the book ladies at the book room with the oh, books. You know, out. this book was in B condition. It was clearly C condition when I got it, ma'am, and I covered it dutifully. Yeah, made my thing out of a shopping bag. All right. Do people cover books anymore? Did, did somebody invent a book cover, perhaps? Don't take any calls. Stop taking calls. No, I want to know. Stop. Do, do not take this next call. Do, people, do not take it on. quickly. I want to know. Don't do people it. cover books? Like, yes. your, your kids cover yes, the books? They do. Yes, they do. With book covers, or they do the shopping bag thing? Both. Both. Oh, really? Yeah. Mix it up. Why do people cover books? Yeah, what's this? I I mostly because their instructors go, uh, we got to cover these books. Yeah, we got to use them again next year. Here, here, yes, when, oh, next year. That When, when I was, uh, like, yeah, I went to North Hollywood High, they had books that had, you know, like from the 40s and stuff. And they were like, you got to cover these. You have to. It was old big thing. You have to cover the book. Somehow the books, what happens? What are you doing to that book? Yeah, I don't know. What, what about the inside of the book? You can't cover that. I know. Anyway, they make a big deal about it's covering the book. It's just like a paper bag on yeah. it. Yeah. Paper and so does, does that really defend the book? I don't, no. I, don't, I don't think. I don't think. Like maybe if you wrapped it in. They have you lots know, of newfangled like stuff, too. Styrofoam or something, that would protect it. Yeah. Well, I'm my surprised thing is, they don't do the opposite, because I covered my books so you could read something else. Mm -hmm. think oh, the right. Oh. Yes. Oh. The cover well the done. Yeah, they should take yeah. the covers off completely. Yeah. yeah. Just or make them transparent. Yeah, I was. Uh, I never opened one. So my oh, thing yeah. was, like, I'm going to keep the inside pristine. <laughs> it's going to have that new book smell when I'm done with it. Amber, 25. Hi, how are you? Good. What's up? Um, yesterday, I was working, and I put a tampon in, and a couple hours later... Um, I went to change my tampon, and I couldn't find the string. Ooh. -oh. And so mm -hmm. now I can't find it. And I've had my boyfriend look, and I've had my mom look, and I've looked, and we can't find it. Um, mom. Mom. Are you a Mormon? I think no, if your mother no. and your boyfriend work together, you can probably yeah. figure it out. Perhaps you can get Maybe. your gym coach in Maybe. there, too, mom, or some mom other just, figure from your rope past. Around one another. Go in. Hello? Mom, mom stays out. Be lucky. It's yeah. like poltergeist. Yeah. Yeah. Going to the light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You go into the uh, third dimension there, go through the porthole in time, <laughs> known as your daughter's vagina, spinning around, clocks. Yeah. Cocks floating by. Yeah, that's right. Eyeballs. <laughs> Amber, how uh, how did you, uh, Amber, how did you approach with hang your mom? Oh, yeah. How, how did, did what? This go? How did you get into this with your mom? Mm, I'm more yeah. interested in how she got into it with her boyfriend. Oh, uh, that, that, that's, that I could say. It would be harder that's to convince. Doable. I don't know. Well, I'm scared. I'm going to ask anyone to help me that I can find that I'm comfortable with. So why not your mom or your boyfriend? No, I, I I know I know I just, they don't make moms the way they used to, Adam. We feel the, the moms are sort of your friend now. Okay. You oh, see? to me there was just a strange woman who smelled funny who lived in the house. <laughs> I had to avoid at all costs, and that was real mom. Wait till step mom came around. Oh, that's war. That was just someone who wandered in and was basically in the kitchen to sneak in, give do you, a shoulder roll over the sofa, give and you steely eyed oh, stares. Oh, it was awesome. Oh, awesome. Amber, actually, here's the deal. These are this is actually quite a common thing. Okay. And it is potentially rather serious because you can get, this is how people get toxic shock syndrome, okay. mm. is they get stuff caught inside. And uh, the doctors pull these out all the time, condoms and tampons. It's not an uncommon thing. Sometimes people actually have sex with a condom in and it forces it way up high there where you just can't get it out. Okay. It's a very simple maneuver to get it out at your doctor's office, but I would urge you to get it done immediately. Mm. Immediately, like emergency room or immediately? Well, like uh, you know, if... If you get fever or feel sick, it's immediate. What do you uh, uh, What do you look like, Amber? I'm four eleven, mm. weigh a hundred and five pounds. Mm. Are, you, are you attractive? I think I'm okay. Okay, all right. Because I was just thinking of like I'm working the OR that night. The ER, like a ER, sorry. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> close enough. And one room over. Yeah. And uh, Amber comes in. 
and uh, and it's like I'm saying, it's like okay, uh, young hot chick with tampon stuck in her. Uh, Hobo's got a bowling pin wedged in his ass, and uh, he's vomiting on himself. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, uh, Bert, come here. That's basically how ERs uh, that, in, in the county hospital and stuff. That's that's basically what happened. We would have to if it was. Yeah, we'd have to have a serious discussion, and then I don't know. Do you play like rock, paper, scissor, or who? You just whoever scramble. Se- scramble. Se- get, your, get your work do, done, get it up, but, and but time it out. Is there a pecking order? You've been there longer. You get the hot chick with the tampon. Well, the attendings get to sort of allocate stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But here's the deal, Amber. Mm-hmm. It, it, the sooner the better. Uh, you know, it, I guess by the book, I should be saying rush right out now and get the thing out. Yeah, maybe a little sort of histrionic to say that, but definitely if you get sick in any way, get abdominal pain, rash, fevers, mm-hmm. chills, mm-hmm. go immediately. What about definitely tomorrow, Drew? Things that work themselves out, like if you if you get a splinter, yeah, yeah they, they do, work themselves out. It does out, tend right? to move in the right direction. It does it tends to, but you know, not fast enough though. It's got to come out. Is there something we could do to her, like? Um, well, she can squat. Yes, yeah, she can squat deeply and bear down. It tends to push out, just like you're having a bowel movement. I think we can push stuff through a little bit. Really, it's pressure. I mean, it's just a pressure phenomenon. Should you hold your nose? You might pop if that happens. Your ears will pop. Your ears will be go. Ooga. So, so bend down and Big push. Drum, drums will bend and push. Yeah, bend, squat way deep, way deep, like your ass lower than your ankles. You know, really down and uh, as low as your ankles. Yeah, it's not yeah. mathematically yeah. possible. Well, you could sit on. Table well, you could stand over like yeah. a mechanic's yeah. pit and right. do it. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's like how push. they do the ping pong balls. Yeah. 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 You're seeing that, Drew? Yeah. And then, and then, if somebody's going to reach, they got to reach. Mm. They, they got to get up. They, they got to reach. Yeah. All right. Should they invent tongues? tampons with longer strings? Should they invent them? <laughs> yeah, or does that exist already? I don't know. Oh, man, there's a million yeah. dollars right there. Yeah, but, but so it's, yeah. Not, it's not, that really isn't the issue. It's just the stuff gets wedged. In the I, would, I would have mine on a leash like a surfboard. Around your ankle? It's just a piece of surgical tubing down on my yeah. ankle and yeah. Velcro. What's going on? Don't oh, worry about it. They invented it at surfboarding school. Surfboarding school, yeah. tampon leash. Kids, uh, it's Good a, episode. No, it's, maybe it's, a, it's, a, it's punishment for the kids for a... Uh, mm, just improper sure, hygiene. They just write stuff down. Right, right, you know, right. we don't have to hash it all out on the air. Someone's going to take this idea and run with I it. I know. They have it already. We have a lot of, uh, you know, Hollywood heavy hitter types listening to the show. A lot of, a lot of agents and producers. Hey, speaking of which, my talk. show yeah. is uh, airing tomorrow night. Actually, if you're listening, to, uh, some of the East Coast may be hearing it tonight. It's mm. uh, Midnight on Discover Health Channel. Got to catch that. It's the June 9th. Today's I'm going to TiVo right? that, Drew. Today's the 8th or the 9th. What's today? Uh, the 8th. So it's on June 9th. So it's the 7th. It's June 8th at, 10, at midnight. June 8th at midnight. Please just... <laughs> I was confused. June 8th at midnight. Just TiVo it or turn your CV on. You don't have to watch it. Just please give me some love. Yeah, don't watch love. it. Don't watch it. <laughs> give Drew some love, everybody. He's got a big family. That's right. And a pretty pretty heavy coke habit. Let's take a break. All right. Let's take a break. Jenny? Yes. You're 25? Yes. You're bi? Yes. All right. Fair enough. And uh, recently been uh, leaning toward a lesbian relationship. Yes. All right. Good times. All right, hold the phone. We have uh, the bravery here tonight. They're going to be on uh, Leno tonight, the Tonight Show Night True. Please stop monkeying. We will uh, hear something off the uh, new CD when we come back. We'll speak to Jenny, all that after this. Hey, everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 L O V E 191. The bravery in the studio tonight. John and Sam both here representing. The bravery, name of the CD. We'll hear something off of that after uh, this. Uh, Bisexual call. What happened yeah, she to our? Off. I think people think when we speak to them, that's it. We're done with them. Breaks my heart. I know. Let's no. see. Maybe this is it. Coming. It's never back. over. Never. No. It's like, you know, r- you know, Rambo from the First Blood. Mm. You know, when he kept saying it's not not over. It's never over. Mm. You know, he's talking about Nam. Can yeah. speak of Nam. Wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pick up line three here. This is a little little diversion for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Somebody is uh, Vanessa. Hi. <clears throat> yeah, hi. What's happening? Hi, how are you? I just want to uh, comment about what you were saying last week about uh, women and uh, World War II. Yes. World War II knowledge. We were mad- Adam made knowledge. a comment. All, all war knowledge. Yeah. Okay, well, you know, knowledge is knowledge. Um, what about the women that are fighting for our country right now? I bet they don't know anything about World War II either. I'm not. I'm not saying that women aren't, aren't brave or don't make a contribution. Or aren't smart. They just don't. In, in, mm, well, no. I kind of imply that. But you're saying I, I've never well, met a woman who knew any. Like, like just... look. Here's what I'm saying. I've never met a woman who knows anything about World War II or almost any war. I think they just tune, tune yeah. out immediately when you go like, 
who are the ally and the Axis powers. They're like, huh? The good guys and the bad guys. They're like, most of them, some of them get, they get as far as the United States and Germany, and that's usually where it ends. Any major battle, any any piece of machinery, any aircraft, any names from that thing, it's uh, you know the, the biggest thing in the last uh, 60 years, changed the, the course of uh, the world, really, and not a woman knows a thing about it ever. You're saying specifically they don't know anything about World War II. Uh, like they might know Civil everything War. about the well, Korean the, War. No, the, no. Uh, they uh, definitely don't know the They're vehicle. whizzes when it comes to the Korean War. <laughs> they're like, uh, War yeah, 1812, no. they know all about that. Yeah, that's uh, that's well, that's she... that's how it goes. Yeah, no, they uh, yeah, quiz Vanessa. Let's see where she is. She doesn't know. She's she's just standing up for the uh, young know. women in the military. But I, it would be a funny bit if I went over to uh, right. Iraq and yeah. interviewed women about what they don't know about World War Two. Uh, yes. You know what? Hmm. You're just making Vanessa's been a, a reason or an excuse to goof on women, and that is she, not right because. Right. They're putting their life online for us here in the United States. Hold oh, on okay. a second. Hold on. There may be an impairment, of, impairment of some type. Impairment? Yeah. Hmm. No, I talked to her. She's Who's claiming her? she's claiming that she had dental work. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and, but she sounded the same last night as well. John's having a dental work right, right now. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm going to use that. All right. Vanessa? I you. Vanessa? Oh, yeah. Do you hear that? Oh, see, no, you not got your attention. Adam, are you married? <laughs> Yes. Are you married, Adam? <laughs> yes. Sorry, baby. I'm married. What can I say? I'm spoken for, but maybe in another life. We'll get together. Spoken I'll tell you about it. World War II. You tell me about uh, how, to, how to properly do a beer bong. It'll be awesome. Oh, well, um, I just want to know, if, do you have a website? Yeah. Do, do I? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's uh, broads don't know nothing about World War II uh, dot com dot org dot org. Sorry, <laughs> sponsored by the government. <laughs> what? What? Do you? Oh. Vanessa, listen. Whatever you do, don't get fired up and hang up because I'm knee deep into this call and I'm going up to my neck. Okay, tell me this. Yes. Why do you have so much anger for women? I love women. What are you talking about? Oh, you goof on them all the time. Look, all I, hate I women. said, all I said was I hate women. <laughs> Look, no, outside of my own family, I'm cool with chicks. You understand why I hate our callers? Oh no, you. Okay, well, tell me this. What yeah. what is weft? What is a, a French manicure? I, uh, that's where a they French do tip? That, that's they do uh, the white on the on the end. Oh, the uh, what's a weft? Yeah. What's a what? A weft. W e f t. A west? A west. That is a direction that would be the opposite <laughs> of, east. of east. Yes. That is a roll of hair for hair extensions. Now you oh, hold on, by the way. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love when women I love I, it's so it's so great too when, when chicks you know, pull that. Face. Like, look, I don't know about world history, but you know nothing about pastry. <laughs> like yeah. I know. I, I'm not. I'm deeming that uh, a novelty. I can start bringing up uh, model airplane stuff too, but I'm not. We're, we're talking about world events here, not about not about hairdos. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, what's a Dorothy Hamill, huh? Because uh, I mean, men are like constantly at battle with each other for like territory and. I know. And I know. women aren't. We're loving. I hate women. No. Now listen, Vanessa. And that's all I was saying is is it was memori it was Memorial Day, yes. and uh, I was giving a tip of the hat to the uh, fighting men and women who have served this country so gloriously over the years and have given their life uh, in duty. And no, I decided to ask the ladies if they could name one airplane from World War II, and we talked to uh, twenty-two chicks. Did and, we get uh, one that did? One that had like three of them. You didn't ask the man. Yeah, but we found out her boyfriend was standing next to her feeding him. No, to her. You didn't That's right. ask the men. I didn't ask the men about hairdos. No, about World War Two. No, we asked. We got one eighteen-year-old stoner from like Lompoc, and he fired off five planes. It's not called Lompoc. It's Lompoc. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Vanessa, this, this, hold this, on. Hold on a second. You gotta, it's like picking at a sore. All right. No, I go. can't help it. Throw but the Vanessa, Vanessa. Yeah. Seriously. You guys know who I am. No, we do. 
We do. Yeah. Are you I'm from Scottsdale, Phoenix, Arizona? Okay. Are Are you drinking tonight? No, I had veneers to put. You know, my front teeth, my veneer. You know what a veneer is. Right, but what about your brain? <laughs> um, I had stroke. Oh, see, now I feel bad. Yeah, All right. Yeah. What happened? She was in the car accident. Right? Were you in a car accident? Oh, a wrong O. Um, and she's blind, remember? Oh, no. Remember, you're, you're the blind, partially Before, blind. I was, like, sort of on the fence about going to hell. Yeah. Now, now I'm the ambassador. I remember Vanessa. Now I'm getting a sash. You don't even believe there is one. Well, okay, but if there is one, that's where I'm going. Vanessa, you're, you're partially blind, right? That's you? No, I'm not blind. You you weren't head injured in a car accident, wasn't that you? I know who you're talking about. There's two there's two separate ones. Wow. Oh, two what happened, things. Vanessa? Okay. What 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 happened with the with you? Did you get in an accident? Um, no, I went into the hospital because I had pneumonia and they didn't. My, I can't really talk about it. They didn't put my lungs in, so that's all right. All right. I can't talk about Are you okay? Are you able to work? Oh, let's put our petty differences aside, Vanessa. Okay. The, well, you know. That's beside the, this phone call is all about. What well, hold on. When I say uh, we're putting our uh, petty differences aside, you can't say that. that we, you can't not, not put that aside. We've got to put that aside. What's going on? Are you working? Uh, you know what? I, that's not the purpose of this call. Oh, right? all right, all right. <laughs> Look, I felt sorry for you for like 10 seconds, but you got to bitch so much. Jesus Christ. <sighs> True. Look, it's just a known fact that women don't know anything about World War II. That's all, or any war. Not their, not their field of interest. Yes, seems that way. Yes, but what's going on with the teachers? Well, they're supposed to be teaching them that crap. You would think. All right. Wait, nobody could get any airplane from World War II. No, the women. None they of could, they couldn't get access and allied powers. No, wow. Yeah, what, but we have exceptionally dumb callers. I mean, not <laughs> Vanessa. So when was the last time I had a conversation with a girl about World War II? Never. Never. It's never, it's never, it's never happened. But, that's how I'm going to start. I'm going to use that to get try the good Civil War. Sometime. You, you, uh, you would have difficulty finding one that knew what decade it was in. World War II. Yeah. Yes, yes. I, yeah. I, I, I say I'm going to start a game show. Cheyenne. Yeah. What's happening? It's a your dude. What? All right, hold on a second. Uh, I want to hear a song from the okay. bravery. All right, fair yeah? enough. Yeah. All right. Do you remember Vanessa? You think of somebody else. I was thinking of somebody else, but I remember Vanessa, too. All right. I feel bad now, but, yeah. you know, what are you going to do? She was giving me a pain in my ass. All right. Should we hear something? Let's yeah. uh, self-title them, by the way. Bravery. Cued up there, Chris. This one's called An Honest Mistake. Off the album, Bravery. It's going to be uh, tonight's show, right? Sound like there could have been some dual keyboard playing. Easily. Spread Easily. out. There's nice a and wide. Opportunity for that. We'll uh, be back uh, with the boys and play a little uh, Germany or Florida. Mm -hmm. All that after this. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew over there. The feisty animated mm. Dr. Drew. Mm -hmm. Look out. He's a man of passion and he's not scared to to shed or spread. Spray. Or spray my passion. <laughs> There's passion upon you, the listener. We're going to take the heart of our enemy and we're going to eat it. Ooh, <laughs> that? I have no I idea. Gonna get that crap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I think that's just actually what you think, but I've never heard you actually say that. <laughs> Certainly it escaped you and I. John and the Sam heart of our enemy and we're going to eat it. <laughs> the it, bravery. The scaring. Even the bravery scared in front of it's you, It's interesting Drew. what can be taken out of context. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? I know. I think, I think that's in context, Drew. Yeah, I think sure. you meant every that's syllable. Oh, no doubt. Uh, I had a, uh, a nice uh, thing happen to me today. Yeah. I had a, uh, the first time, you know, uh, for uh, my entire life, uh, they've been... Uh, been uh, telling me not to take those Q-tips and uh, shove them inside of my ear. Yeah. Uh, you know, because they do that thing where they go, you get the Q-tip and you go, oh, I'm going to clean oh, my ear out. That. And they're like, no, no, no. Don't outside. put that in your ear. <laughs> outside. It's for the pinna. Listen, I what? The out, what do you mean the out, outside? I can get my finger or yeah. a popsicle stick. That's I don't need it. I don't need their crap for the outside. That's I need correct. their crap for the inside. Yeah. All right. You need the wax cones. Uh, that's what you need. The thing you know is what? set on fire. They're st well, let yeah. me. Okay, we need to get into that. We need to get uh, into coning, got stories, and candling, and coning, and all this. But let me just say this: say it. my buddy Daniel punctured his eardrum. I know it happens all the time. It's the leading cause of rupture ear. I see it all the time. What? I've never, just putting I've been, a Q-tip. I've been, in your ear? I've been, all I've been the shoving time. that stuff in my ear for my whole life. How many times have I told you about that? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's never happened. I just have told you about it a million times. It never happens until it happens. Now your buddy's got it. And it's going to be a pain for him. 
Yeah, yeah. It says he can't open his mouth, right. which is probably a good thing. Ooh, Adam. Well, opportunity for you. Call it like you see it. <laughs> the point is, is I finally found someone who did damage to themselves with the Q-tip. Did he slip or anything? He just did it, pushing it in. Uh, he just was cleaning and yeah. uh, went in there. Yep. Now let's talk about candling for a second, because uh, when I met uh, Jimmy Kimmel uh, ten. 11 years ago, he was all about the candle. Oh, and he no. told me, you put these f wax funnels in your ear and then you light them on fire. And the next thing you know, the earwax just comes pouring out. But he was duped. Yeah, it's the wax comes it's, pouring out. It's the, the wax of lift. the candle. Yes, of course. Anyway, I, went, I was in Santa Barbara. I dropped like 18 bucks at a head shop and bought three of these candles. And then... <laughs> Yeah, you know, cut to me lying on the kitchen floor, the paper plate stuffed in my ear, and this thing on fire, me yelling at my girlfriend. I don't feel anything. I can't hear. It's horrible. But here's the thing. Jimmy's uh, new lady friend, Sarah Silverman, got herself an actual, like, water pick, like an instrument. Yeah, yeah. And, and works yeah, yeah. ears with it. Yeah, I've actually had that done. Yeah. Goes nuts. They blast yeah. yeah. my ear full of water. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. like a like a wax, like the, like a an inch of wax. Yeah, you can do. You can you can get those little intense. those little squirt bulbs too. It's the most satisfying experience, in my life. and you can just do it yourself if you want. Yeah, well, it's very she simple. she unfortunately found a part that would not free itself. It's hard. Sometimes it can be very. She intense. couldn't get at it, yeah, yeah. and she was going nuts herself. On me. On you. Oh, on yeah. my ear. Uh huh. Yeah, there's Reason. a chunk in there. the 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 left side is bad because I drive, and my wife gets the right side while I drive. It's awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Let me go. You know, I don't what? Think I have an otoscope with me. I don't. You don't have an otoscope with me. Listen, I don't like that feeling when they put that thing in your ear. Well, that's only going to see what's going on in there. Well, listen, I know what's going on in there. The point is, is she got me with the water pick and couldn't get this chunk out while you were driving. How do you know? No, actually, that you wouldn't let her look in there. How do you know we're not a, mobile. How do you know there's a chunk? She's looking in there oh, with the looked, water pick, saying there's chunk in there. Uh, she uh, maybe she has one of those uh, what are they o called otoscopes otoscopes yeah she's got an otoscope uh, uh. she's like a I don't think she's licensed or bonded or anything but she's really by the way so you got to be a Jewish chick to do that <laughs> no uh, no goyim would ever go around with the uh, thing and the candle otoscope. and the spray and the otoscope like actually traveling around oh, doing God. people's ears but that is a thing that chicks do the one thing they do know maybe maybe not World War Two but they know like picking zits and cleaning ears and you know they're like spider monkeys yeah that's good they'll jump right on your head and Adam, start pulling stuff out of it one of your minion has been uh, deflowered talk to Shannon real quick all right all right Shannon hi Adam yeah yeah uh, about like half an hour ago I just received a ticket making a left hand turn on a red arrow I wanted... wow did you did you, did you uh... We we have that we had that uh, code that said you, you can get out of it. Yeah, that's the worthless. Vehicle code. Look, in any great battle, there's going to be martyrs. There's go <laughs> there, there will be the fallen. You know what I'm saying? The, you know what I'm saying? You don't win a war without losing a few lives, and that's what happened to uh, young Shannon, yeah. by the way. And so, uh, so a great monument is on him. Yeah. Well, let me let me tell you let me tell you what the deal is. They have these left turn arrows all over town. They're uh, as of. Six years ago, there were three, all in Culver City. Now there's thousands spread across the Southland. Uh, I'm all for the uh, arrow that turns green and alleviates traffic, uh, but then it turns red, and it stays red while the signal is green. And you're sitting there in the middle of the night not being able to turn left, even though the signal is green, and there's no traffic coming from any direction. And by the way, six months ago, there was no arrow there. You just turned left when it was safe to turn left. Now you're just sitting there waiting to get carjacked or T-boned by a drunk driver. I have started a personal crusade to go through every goddamn one of them. I just drive through them. I've done thousands, and I beg my listeners to do the same. My thing is, is I don't think cops will see you. Now, I don't know if this cop was behind Shannon. Shannon? Yeah. Where was the fuzz? The cop, he was on the right, like, I was making a left onto the street, and he was on the right side. Just, he was in the dark, pitch black. I guess he was watching for speeders. Where were you? I was in uh, Laguna Niguel. This is Orange mm -hmm. County. This dominates Culver City in terms of... We're just out of curiosity. Oh, yeah, they're going insane with the arrows. Yeah. And what, what time did uh, you get in the like evening? 10, 15, yeah. It was, like, almost, like, 40 minutes ago now. Where in Laguna Niguel? Uh, on the corner of, like, if I give you the street, like, uh... Why, you know Judge well, over there? Well, I'm saying, like, Crown Valley and those things. They, they, <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, yeah, it's right near Crown Valley. <laughs> yeah, see, like, see? Every, every, almost that, every that is, that is That's where the green arrow was invented. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. Well, the red arrow. Yeah. So, listen, Shannon. Yeah. 
listen, you're still you're still in the game. <laughs> because here's what I'm going to need you to do. I'm going to need you to fight this ticket. For I sure. just drove through when we did when we had the weenie. Hey, the man's rows. already taking a bullet. You're going to make him go back. Uh, and yes. Take, oh. Yes. <clears throat> yes, brave soldier. Because I was just out there when uh, when uh, the bravery was uh, playing the weenie roast, and I drove through several hundred of those uh, godforsaken left turn oh, that's reds. It, in Irvine. And Irvine yeah. on my way home from the uh, whatever. Uh, the point is, is now, and this is where it starts. You must fight it, and you must say. Why? By the way, that intersection has been there for 35 years. The arrow's been there for eight months. No, no, not a crown. That's my question. 20 years. All right. The arrow's been there for 20 months. What were the people doing the other 19 years? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why isn't that arrow on a timer? It's there to alleviate traffic, but in the middle of the night, yo. Oh, or why not Janet. yield on green? Why not Janet. yield Janet. on green? You know what I'm going to need you to do? Yeah. Here's okay. what I'm going to need you to do. I'm going to need you to go to that intersection. Okay. I'm going to need you to go there at the time you got the ticket. Okay. And I'm going to need you to videotape while the, while the arrow is red and the, and the, the uh, signal is green and there's, they show the judge that there are no cars, no oncoming traffic, and they're going to have to explain to you why you, what you did was dangerous. I'm trying to get them to change it to yield on green. Yeah, and what's wrong with the timer, you pussies? All right, Shannon, please keep fighting the fight and call us back. But please fight this, would you please? I'll give you an update. Right. Are you going to fight it? I'm going to fight it for sure because I can't... Right. Fight it. Fight it. Yes. Listen, everyone. Fight these tickets. These chicken-ass tickets. What the hell are they doing? We're sitting there in the middle of the night and all they talk about is getting traffic moving Shannon, in this town? Shannon is one of the great patriots. Pussies. But they're... But they're oh, what is their new thing? Click it or ticket? Yeah. Oh, kiss my ass, you idiots. Did you guys come up with something better than that? And how about letting the town breathe, huh? How about we get to move a little bit? How about you stop putting your wet, crappy, urine-soaked blanket on us and let us drive? We employ you, you idiots. Now go out there and bust some perps and quit handing out chicken-ass tickets. Jesus Christ. No one ever speaks up, either. Everyone just sits around. Well, the arrow must be there for a reason, you lemmings. Sit around, lemmings. Sit around and wait for the Grim Reaper, you pussies, and do just what the man tells you to do, you wusses. Be the man's little bitch. That's a great plan. Just sit around. And by the way, and we'll be back. no wiping your ass until the man gives you the green light, you lemming pussy after puppets. This. Okay. The bravery in tonight. We'll be back to chat up, chat down with them after this. Yeah, everybody. What'd it be like? I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Sam and John here tonight from the bravery. Great that people. band was the Dead Sixties, by the way, and we're going on tour with them. Oh, really? They're really good. good. They're pretty good. They're uh, the uh, not the Dead Sixties, but the Bravery can be found uh, tonight on the uh, Tonight Show with Jay Leno and huh? who, else, who else was on the show tonight? Um, uh, Adam Brody from the OC, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. and Chris Matthew mm -hmm. from Hardball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True, you've done Hardball, yes, mm, many times. Yes. Oh, wait, you've never done that. Yeah. Oh. I don't do deep cable, Drew. Yeah, really. I do network. <laughs> deep. <laughs> That's deep cable. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Corey? Yep. You're 29? Yes, Adam. I'm an attorney, and I'm a big fan of yours, and I'm really for this left turn thing, and I want to defend Shannon for free and make a big stink about this ticket. Well, we really, I, I think we, yes, thank you. Let me just say this about our society. We have abandoned our society. We're, we're, everyone is just sleepwalking through it. There was a day when we used to question the man. You know, you told the black chick to get to the back of the bus. She said, screw you, Whitey. I'm sitting up front. And everyone, exactly. and it, well, of course, it was a law. But no, we're not going to we're not going to stand for it. We need to wrestle our society back from, sorry, your uh, brethren, the attorneys and the man. The man is squeezing us. We can't get anything done, especially here in Southern California. All the FCC <laughs> stuff. All the FCC stuff, all the laws on the road. You've got to drink you know, your beer out of a paper cup. You can't do anything. You go to the airport. You get, the, you, know, you get a stick put up your ass. We've got to wrestle it back from the man. And this is just the, uh, the first step in a very long journey, Corey. Adam, Adam, I agree with you. I, you know, I also think that crab shampoo should be available, you know, over the counter. Thank you. That's that's another one of those things. That works. 
Yes. Good morning after pill for crying out loud. Thank you. We live in a society where you can buy a fifth of scotch and a crossbow, but if you want crab shampoo, you got to get a note from the doctor. Yeah. What are the kids drinking it? Yes. What the f is going on? We need to stand up. You need to defend our last caller, Shannon. Yes. yes you need to defend Shannon. Shannon. The Patriot. Right. Patriot Shannon. Brother Shannon. <laughs> Brother Shannon. You never got high on crab shampoo? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that's awesome. drinking crab shampoo? What oh, yeah. You need to, here's what you need to do. First, you need to defend Shannon in court for this left turn error thing. And then secondly... How does Shannon get a hold of a Corey? Oh, that's a good question. Hold on. I have a second part of the case. Okay. Sue his parents for naming him Shannon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can win that one. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, we will we'll figure out a way to put these two together. But let me give you the let me give you the broad strokes of your case, Corey. Okay. Oh, thank thank you, Mr. Crawl, Judge Crawl. Well, first off, uh, <laughs> what forget about letter of the law. What about spirit of the law? Obviously, these. I don't. First off, I don't know why these arrows ever turn red. They should just go to yield. People turn left at every other intersection. What is so special about this intersection that's inherently more dangerous than the two intersections to the left and to the right of it? That's one thing. The, the next thing is, is how about you guys use your technology, perhaps the technology you guys use to give everyone tickets when they go through the intersection, a hummingbird's fart away uh, after the light turns yellow or, or red or whatever and snaps shots from 15 different angles. How about you use some of that technology to put these things on timers so at 10, 1030 in the evening when there's no traffic, people can move along. And also, what about the danger of just sitting in the middle of the highway in your car? These days. Yes, when people could be perhaps driving drunk or carjackings or is it is it more dangerous to turn left when there's zero traffic or or sit there just uh, waiting to be clipped by uh, some uh, a biker? Yes. Give yes. me a bullet and shoot. That's right. Now, what do you Anything think? Anything else I need to put down? Anything else I need to put down? <laughs> now, how are you gonna how are you gonna defend young Shannon, Corey? Okay. Well, I've never done a traffic ticket case before. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know. I was just going to do some research and then, you know, go in there and, you know, talk about freedom and justice. And well, they, we had a cop call one night and said that the, the interpretation of the actual uh, <laughs> the statute is, is pretty flexible. The actual statute that says you have to, it actually says you can turn on the, green, on the red arrow. Yeah. If you do a little homework, you might find a, yeah. uh, a loophole. But but here's here's the thing, not all laws. Uh, there's certain laws that were meant to be broken. This is at the top of the list. Let's just admit we made a mistake and serve the public. That's yeah, what I we agree. need to do. All right. I agree. All right. Call okay. us and, and keep us posted. Bad. You give us a bad name, Adam. What's that? Not all attorneys. All right. Only all right. ninety-nine percent. I will uh, not talk smack about you or your um, your kind if you get young Shannon off on this. How one. shall he call just, you? Hey, 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 you ballless fags! Just kill yourselves. <laughs> how should you? he get? A, how she get a hold of you? I was thinking um, I was talking about publicists there. To be that's fair, that's true. Yeah, to be fair. I don't. I don't want to give out the phone number, but right, we're, for your business, we're, no. we're gonna website or. We're going to put, we'll put a Corey we'll get it on off hold, there and then we'll get, we'll get it, Shannon we'll get it off there. Now, here's what we need to do, everyone. A, everyone needs to go through every one of these MFing signals, Pussy Drew. You must do it, too. Mm -hmm. B, if, if, and it's a big if, because I've driven through 2,000 of these things now, never gotten sighted. If you get sighted, we need to fight it. And then we just clog the entire system up and it grinds to a halt. That's what we need to do. Perfect. All right. I'm sorry. What's this lawyer's name? A oh, Corey. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, I know. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it needs to put cream on its skin. Put the lotion in the basket. Put the lotion in the basket. This would be awesome when a guy is like six eight with it, uh, five foot of forehead just shows up at court, just uh, <laughs> looking like a lurch. Do you? Uh, how do you plead? How's your client plead? <laughs> scares the crap out of the judge. Now, look, the cops don't even show up half the time. Mm. When I got my uh, ticket in Burbank, the cop didn't show up. Yeah, so we just need to keep beating it. That's all. We need to beat back the man and explain to him their job is to, again, do what, Drew? Do what we want them to do. That's what you cops need to do, what we tell you to do, not what you feel like doing. You understand? Go bust some perps. Leave the chicken-ass stuff to the meter mates. Take a little Germany or Florida. All right. Cheyenne? 
Yeah. You're 32? Yeah. What's up? Oh, uh, I agree with the left turn deal. I've never had to deal with one, but... Hey, Shan, on what's going on? Light? Just do it! <laughs> yeah. I'll stop and take off on a straight red light if nobody's Ooh. coming. Yeah, I do that, too. It's yeah. nice. Yeah, why not? Oh, Hold on a second. A Let me just say something different. What's so different about an intersection with uh, where no one's coming with a red light or one with a stop sign on your side where no one's coming? Whatever happened to the blinking red light? All red right. Night. Just, yeah, let's everyone. Let's just use our own brains, everybody, and just drive accordingly. Can we do this? And if, uh, if someone does something dangerous, uh, they get killed. It's awesome. Germany Go ahead, Cheyenne. Or Florida. David Germany Allen Greer. Or Florida. Germany or Florida. <coughs> Germany or Florida. We have to play it play that otherwise dave fires off an angry drunken uh email to at me. dr drew yes. it has there's there's overtones of racism <laughs> <laughs> implied in it <laughs> go ahead cheyenne all right a 46 year old woman uh was incarcerated for 30 days for shooting her neighbor's chihuahua she uh told the authorities that when the chihuahua entered her backyard the beast frightened her for her life and she fired her shotgun twice into the air before killing the animal germany or florida hmm the wait, wait, beast? She, yeah, the it was, beast. It was a three-pound chihuahua. She <laughs> fired it twice into the air and then killed the chihuahua? Right. And then killed it because it wouldn't leave. It was a she warning gave it two warning, warning shots. shots. Yeah. Two and warning by the way, shots. It by wouldn't the way. leave. She was afraid for her life, and then and it wouldn't leave. Okay. So it was not a spontaneous gut reaction to the to the chihuahua storming in or something like that. Fair. She actually thought about it long enough to... Premeditated. Yeah. Right. Well, although she uh, I think no, she she fired Chihuahua a warning slaughter. shot and the chihuahua I'm, kept coming. I'm saying it wasn't just some sort of frightened response. She right. thought it out and yes. delivered. And by the way, uh, write all the letters you like. Good. One less chihuahua. They're wretched beasts. Right. They're lower Germany than pigeons. Germany or Florida. They really are. They're horrible. I wish more of them would just get shot by old ladies with shotguns. Germany or Florida. My day. Please, people with the chihuahuas, they're horrible Shotgun, animals. chihuahua, backyard, Florida. Feels like Florida. Shotgun feels like Florida. Chick sporting shotgun feels like Florida. Yeah. Yeah? What do you guys think? Germany, Germany. or Florida? Germany or Florida. Yeah, I think they make better shotguns in Germany. Really? Oh, yeah. And they don't tolerate those dogs. Oh, no. I feel, yeah. I feel like people are better armed in, in Germany? In America. America. Yeah. yeah. So, Sam, you going, you going Florida? Yeah, I'm going Florida. Yeah. John? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Germany. Hmm. Germany could be right. All right. So, we got we got two Floridas into Germany. Well. You want to I'm going Germany. Okay. Here we go. Germany, too. Cheyenne? Cheyenne? Germany or Florida? Naples, Florida. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm it's talking just, about. It hurts. Yeah. It hurts. That's all. That's, <laughs> that's all. All right, Cheyenne. Thanks, All right. Buddy. You guys rock. Thanks. Thank you. I hate chihuahuas. They're horrible. <laughs> I got that. They're horrible. Yeah, I hear they that. Just, they just growl all the time. They're a little yappy. I just... Uh, when you take a look at a chihuahua, when you take a look at a lab, yeah, a chihuahua well, just like I'm like I was just like the back over chihuahuas. What, you got two a lab kinds of dogs. Oh, yeah, I have a what? lab. Oh yeah. What are the two kinds? Um, I think they're either they either come from wolves or hyenas. And good dogs like labs or retrievers or nice dogs mm -hmm. and lap dogs or like overgrown rats all come from hyenas. Yes, is that true? I'm, it sounds good. It sounds <laughs> good. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. A hyena is even better true. than a chihuahua. Chihuahuas are horrible. Oh. Have you ever met one you like? No. The Taco just... Bell one was maybe the best chihuahua ever, but... Th that's yeah, a midget a in an outfit. Oh, that's not an actual, actual dog. I know that guy. Mm -hmm. Ren. Yeah. Ren and Stimpy. Ren yeah, is actually good. is He's the He's a pretty chihuahua. decent chihuahua. But, look, uh, it, it's funny to me that one got shot with a shotgun because they are lower on the chain than roaches or pigeons. Lindsay? Hi. You're 17? I am. What's up? Um, I was wondering what the health problems would be with getting a tattoo. Actually, I found something that's worse than chihuahuas. The people that drag them around <laughs> and, and now foist them on you and bring them into your life. Like, how many chihuahuas would you actually come across if not for those broads who drag them with them you know, everywhere, Dalm carry them everywhere? Dalmatians and chows, they're also... Yeah, no, they're, they're neurotic. Yeah. But here's the thing. You don't get the crazy bitch with the bad hair dragging the Dalm Dalmatian into wherever you work yeah. or forcing you to have interaction with the Dalmatian. Yeah. They're at the fire department. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dalmatians don't fit in a purse, I think. That's, right. You, know, you don't thing. have to deal with Paris Hilton's yeah. Dalmatian. The chows. Yeah. 
You know, or chow. Yeah. They just run around with their purple tongue, and people tell you to stay away from them. Right. Hey, Carl, I got a chihuahua that I'll bring in. You'll like it. No way. Really? Yeah, great no. One. Yeah, Drew, I showed what? you the picture the other day. It was a, it's oh, a yeah, great it's little true. dog. That's All right. Oh, you bring shit. it in, Anderson. But that's a, not really a chihuahua. That's one of those mini chihuahuas. Yeah, no, right. bring, he's, he's cool. He's bring he's it like in. Three, three pounds. You get the, uh, bring the skeet. Bring the skeet loader, and and you bring the you Adam. Bring the I know that you're going to be your, awesome. Your center, your gooey, and you'll love this dog. I hate all chihuahuas. All right, Lindsay, what's the question? Um, what would be the health? Some of the health risks from get, oh, getting a tattoo. Mostly, it's uh, something you just don't want someday. There are people that are concerned about bloodborne pathogens like uh, hepatitis or HIV. No one seems to get it. There seems to be no re reper repercussions for getting tattoos or piercings, really. Does it depend yeah. where you get it? Yeah, of course. Reputable places and make sure they're using sterile equipment. No, I meant the part of your body. Um, <laughs> Come on, Drew. I've not seen... I imagine you could get infected just about anywhere. Yeah, but or, oral tattoos like are just as infected as oral tattoos. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I've not seen that happen, so I'm, I'm just guessing that can happen. Lindsay? Yeah. What are you looking to get? Um, I want to get one on my hip so that I won't see it when I'm older, so I won't regret getting it, and probably only about an inch, so not that big of a deal. What are you What are you going for? What are you looking at? Um, probably a Buddha. A Buddha. Why a Buddha? That's going to pay dividends. Um, you love that well into your fifties. Why a Buddha? Yeah. <laughs> because I'm atheist and. It's Probably the closest to something that I like, and I thought about Chinese symbols, but everybody yeah. has them. Yeah, effed out, as we say in the tat business, uh, with the Chinese symbols. And I know they're effing with us, too, by the way. The tat guys are really like, uh, I'm a wuss, or, uh, you know, put your balls here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says on in the Chinese. <laughs> yeah, it's small the back. Yeah, it's awesome. It means it means, uh, it means uh, arrogant warrior. <laughs> really says put calls there. Rent, yeah, rest yeah. nuts here. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. All right. Hey, uh, Lindsay. Yeah. Why bother? Don't bother with the tats. It's not going to help you. No one cares. <laughs> just just knock it off. Okay. Remember, you're special, and there's no one else uh, No one else out there like you. Um, so you don't need anything to You don't need to get a tat. Yeah. You, there's only, you're the only Lindsay. You know what I'm saying? Actually, there's a lot of Lindsays, but... <laughs> well, I know. I know there's a lot of chicks named Lindsay, but you're, you know, Lindsay. No one else yeah. was created like you. That's probably true. Yeah, you're, like, you're like, a, a like a really mediocre snowflake. You know what I mean? <laughs> End of, you know, <laughs> I, I think I'm better than a mediocre snowflake, but... Okay. All right. Can I officially go on record as saying I don't understand the appeal of <clears throat> tattoos? Yes. And I know I'm in a band and stuff, and I'm supposed to have tattoos, but I don't. I was reading some stuff. And I don't get it at, at all. On like chicks, especially. Yeah, 18, 1860s is about criminals, and they were saying, oh, yes, criminals always have tattoos. Yeah. It's part of criminal impulses. <laughs> oh, interesting. And, and that interesting that, you know, we've seen on this show is that <clears throat> people that need to tat their body up are usually because they've been physically abused or sexually abused or both. Yes. And um, I think people just do it because they think that. It makes you look. Ask cool somebody who has a bunch. Of, ask people who have a bunch of tats sometimes. Well, that's a bunch of tats. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. different. That's commitment. Just, the commitment I respect. It's the like girl with a lower back tattoo that we just need to get over that. Yeah, just, like when you walk into the place and you pick a tattoo from the like wall of tattoos. Right. Then you're not getting it for the image at all. You're getting it. Because you want to have a tattoo for some reason, like you think it makes it you look tough or something. Like Lindsay, is she still there? Yeah. Why? Why do you want to? Obviously, like, the Buddha is probably not that important to you. Like, why do you want to have a tattoo? Because it's not religious. The Buddha. That's why she wants it. And by the way, the Buddha is kind of thing where people aren't going to know what it is in a few years. They're going to be like, uh, "Oh, you got Felix the cat? <laughs> no, no, it's Figaro. Figaro the cat. It's, uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's Buddha. Wait, how come you want to have a tattoo? Um, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to do one with my friend and I I don't know just something to do that would be for me kind of a rebellious type thing All right, you, you kids want to rebel how about driving through some of those left turn I red arrows huh how about you tell the man to kiss your ass that way instead of pay some guy 50 bucks to put a little uh, art on your cheek I do drive through the left good turn red arrows. good girl make Thanks. sure it's safe and then do it all right, look, uh, here's, the, here's what girls need to hear from guys, especially guys from bands, because, you know, I know we're the man, but the bravery <laughs> certainly does not represent the man. T a tat never did anything to help a woman in the looks or attractiveness department. 
We will. I if, have to kind of agree, I disagree with that. I mean, I know disagree. I'm, I'm sounding I, uh, yes. hypocritical. <laughs> you really are. Uh, you're contradicting yourself. But I've definitely. Go ahead. Back me up. Once well, in a while, there's like a sexy tattoo. If you get the like super crazy Japanese back tattoos, and they can kind of like. Yeah, it can be hot. Make the waves kind of crash over their it let, talks. It lets you know nice. they're open for business, but has it ever made a woman more sort of physically attractive? I'll put it to you this way. I've, nev I've never been into a girl because of her tattoo. Like, it would never make or break the day. Well, let me make this point, and maybe Dr. Drew can back me up. They say girls who smoke are, like, I don't know, a million times more promiscuous than the ones that don't. And I think the same is true for tattoos. Interesting. So maybe they're trying to put something out. Oh, they're, they're, the tattoos and yeah, piercings any... definitely are people putting something out. They're, they're, they're telling you they're open for uh -huh. business. Yeah. But you guys, you guys want to get over the one at the uh, base of the back. Yeah, the lower back. But uh, you want a huge back tattoo instead. No, I think the one of the Well, no, I said I was into hot. commitment. Right, right. Okay, yeah. If you're going to do it, like, do it. Right. Don't just... Yeah, but get a tattoo that, if it actually means something to you, like, if it's actually an important thing to you, don't just get it for the sake of getting it. Because it's the least yeah. rebellious thing you can do. Everybody gets a tattoo. Yeah. yeah. It's like if you're a girl piercing, piercing your um, belly button. Yeah, yeah, the cool like thing is like to not get a no, tattoo. It should, yeah, like, oh my god, I met this chick and she doesn't have a tattoo. She's punk rock. I'm just, yeah, I'm just saying we've all met hot chicks with tattoos who would be just as hot minus the tattoo. Like once in a while yeah. you go, oh no, there's this chick who's totally smoking and she's got a tattoo. Look, you put a little piece of gaffer's tape over the tattoo, you still want a boner. <laughs> right. right? All I'm saying is I have seen tattoos that w that w did actually work that were kind of hot but in 10 years but it is they very, might not. very and the chick is still hot. and not worth it yeah yeah really. and it should yeah get something that means something to you like drew has a zigzag man on his right nut <laughs> <laughs> left nut <laughs> left nut sorry but when i'm facing you yeah you're right yeah you're right yeah that's my my right chuck yeah you're 25 yes what's up all right, uh, I got a kind of awkward question, but figured you could get best people to ask. Um, I was at a bachelor party about two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and uh, we were all, you know, getting drunk. We had some strippers over. It was a good time, and uh, the strippers pulled out some lollipops. And uh, one thing led to another. A lollipop ended up in my mouth after it was inside of her, and not in her mouth. <laughs> right. I was yeah. I was curious. Am I at any risk for getting anything? Yeah. Yeah, you could be. Yeah. What was, was she licensed? Was she bonded? Uh, she's definitely bonded, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is... I, I've seen this done before. It's, yeah, it's yeah, one of those techniques. Does it have a name? I just called uh, a telly, like a telly savalas. Uh, I see a telly. Pulling yeah. a telly. Yeah. But um, th th it's one of these things where once in a while guys get caught in these horrible positions at bachelor parties because they're drunk and there's peer pressure and it's like, okay. And then once in a while, the really uh, skanky stripper's like, all right, lie down. And I'm going to pour I'm going to pour goat's milk down my face. It's going to drip off my, my vulva. And it, you're like, you, you want to go like, uh... Uh, yeah, uh, I'll, yeah. Go ahead and pass on this one, but uh. you know, all the guys are screaming, and you have to act like, "All right, that's hot." And you have oh. to go do it. Well, the weird thing is, she—I uh, was kind of into it because she used to ride my school bus in middle school. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so, oh, that's it different. Was, it was actually that kind is of hot, different. But, but I mean, what was I going to do? Spit out and, the lollipop and say no? You know, she was. And, and the symbolism of the lollipop too, from the girl that he knew uh, once, once when you know. Scary. Well, she guess, rode your. Wait a minute, she rode your bus, but did she go to your school? Yeah, yeah she went to my school. Yeah, yeah. And in you, middle school, so she was. You, you knew her in like the eighth grade. Yeah, eighth grade through so like eleven. Eleventh uh, grade. Oh, Hold on, she was already in second. trouble then, right? Eighth grade through eleventh grade. Yeah. And then when they, <laughs> oh, then she moved or something. Uh, no, I uh, I went to a different school after that. Oh, you got kicked out. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Okay. All right, so you're a troublemaker, too. Uh, speaking of, I have tattoos, and I think they're very sexy, by the way. Okay. I bet you think you're hot. <laughs> so, so you hate, uh, but this is a this is a chick you, you just recognize? I mean, obviously, you didn't know her name, right? She used a different name. Uh, yeah, she used a different name, but as soon as she came in, she recognized all of us. And, like, she knew my one friend who was there, who was actually the bachelor. Mm -hmm. and she was going nuts. She was she knew his his wife to be, and she was kind of like, "Don't tell him about what's going on," and got a little crazy. <laughs> Hold on, to me, I uh, I would have for me that's like bachelor party. It's time to call a timeout, like convene, like okay, what are the implications here? She knows the <laughs> wife. 
We went to junior high. There's some there's some serious pros and cons going on right now. We need to all just figure this out before the debauchery begins. Like, this is hot because we haven't seen her since the ninth grade. On the other hand, she could squeal to the old lady. You, you know what I mean? I'd have to have a we'd have to have a serious like breakdown discussion to figure figure this one out. Doesn't sound good. I would say bail out, bail out. I would say go sick, and then we kill her and throw her in the desert. Oh yeah, you, you no, know I what I mean. See, I could see you going that way. <laughs> yeah, so that yeah. way, you, you know what I'm saying. Right. It's kind of sort of win win. To get back to his question, yeah, um, yeah, that that is a way to transfer things, right? I mean, it's bo it's body fluid going into mucosal membrane on your side, so. Things like syphilis, gonorrhea, <laughs> chlamydia, yeah. herpes, all that can, could be transmitted that way. Pubic hair. Pubic hair. Uh, but not particularly likely. It's not, it's, not, it's not like oral sex where you're you know, getting direct contact. But mm -hmm. it, it could be passed along. Yeah, things could be passed okay. along. All right. It'd, it'd be hard to get. Chuck, I, I, if you, I, if, if you I, do actually, you're not going to get anything. I, yeah, I can't imagine you get HIV or hepatitis or anything like that. Those are very difficult things to control. Right. Yeah, if you do pick something up... Um, and you gotta go to the doctor. Feel free to uh, make something up. You know, try to salvage a little dignity. Say it was a gay trick that went bad or something. Not quite as humiliating as you uh, yeah, so pulling the telly. Me. All right, buddy. Wait, wait, wait. What's, right. Where are you from? Uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Is, is this Chuck? Lancaster, Pennsylvania, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it says Chuck. It's, it's Chuck. <laughs> uh -huh. if, if she had a tattoo on her back, then I think you're pretty much screwed, though. So, Drew. Yeah. You don't know what yeah. goes on at these bachelor parties. <laughs> no, I, I, and the more I hear about it, the no, more thankful not. I am that I don't, really. It, it is. It is. It sounds bad. It, it sounds like, like I would a feel, corner of Hades. Like I would feel, yeah, I would feel guilty and dirty and uncomfortable the whole time. You would, except for you have such a boner and you're so drunk, <laughs> it all melts away. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't like that feeling. You know, I don't like that feeling. I feel like I'm doing something bad and wrong. Like, yeah. That's that's what we're going for. I know that's what I, I, I don't like. Place. I don't like that feeling. I don't, Anderson's into that feeling. I don't like that feeling. I'll tell you the part that's you tough. The part that's tough is when the uh, bachelor has been uh, drinking way too much. Yeah. It's like I've been doing coke and drinking since uh, 4 in the afternoon. It's now uh, 2.30 in the morning and his pants are down. He's yeah. got that whiskey oh. schlong going. Oh, yeah. And he's uh, sitting there and she, <laughs> he's got 20 guys sitting there and his dork's never been smaller. The, you know I mean, I mean, he gets oral sex in front of his friends? Uh, anal. <laughs> anyway, I've got this show coming on Discovery Health Channel. Those of you... Uh, no, he doesn't get oral December sex. 8th, no, midnight. They, Those of you who are listening now, uh, it's, and it's Wednesday night, turn your television yeah, on, please. They midnight, will pull, Discovery Health Channel. They will oftentimes, like, oh, okay, who's getting in a guy sloppy drunk, and they'll, like, pull his pants down and start paddling him and stuff, and the poor guy, it's got, you know, it's got... what to him? Pull his pants down, like in? start paddling him this and stuff like that. This where you do no, that. no, I'm I'm just saying they will. The bachelor parties will run the gamut between sort of fairly tame to just all out pure wow. debauchery, Oof. like like you know get in the vice squad and shut this place down. Wow. Once in a while, the guy's pants come down wow. and it's not flattering. I see. You see I what see. I'm saying? I see. I see. He's got every every dude. He's yeah. Every yeah. dude he's known since high school standing there, and he's sloppy drunk, and he's got nothing in the wood department. That's all I'm saying. That's why I went with a prosthetic. <laughs> but that's why you go there and laugh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? Get your get your yucks in. <laughs> One guy got handcuffed to the chair, and my buddy Ray hit his dong with a flashlight. <laughs> All right, let's take a little break. The bravery uh, here tonight. Drew, you never been to a bachelor party with any of your Poindexter friends? You know. Pansy. So sad. We'll take a uh, quick break. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> Crap, girls think that's cars. Hey, everybody. Just uh, having a little talk with bravery about uh, cars. Who knew? God. I'm, um... We're going to hear something off the uh, newish CD. Also, uh, band going to be on the uh, Tonight Show with Jay Leno tonight. We will uh, Drew show. Just just look for Drew show. Would you, everyone? Midnight, please. Guys, uh, just turn it on. Nuts. Please help me out. All right, let's Good let's show. take let's take a call. Let's see. Went to a strip club. Male coworker. Tell husband. Wait a minute. What is this? Take a call and then we'll uh, hear another song for the bravery. Shelly. Yes. Anything that starts out with strip club, you're taking. Yes. We're, uh, you're 22? I'm 22. And what happened? I, well, it was my friend's birthday, and so I told her I was going to take her out. And so I was planning on going out Friday with my friend Christy. 
And so I, like, invited some guys at work. I'd gone out with this other guy before, gone to play pool, seen a bunch of other friends. And so I happened to ask this guy, he's like, oh, our birthday's this weekend. And I was like, okay, you know, you want to go out? We'll go out for your birthday. And he's like, all right, well, let's go to the strip club. And I was like, okay, you know, that sounds kind of interesting. I've never gone before. And I've asked my husband before, and he'll never go with me. And so I kind of asked him jokingly around, and I was like, honey, you want to you wanna go to the strip club with me? You know, some guys from work are going. And he's like, no. And he's like, that would be awkward. And I'm like, okay. So I went anyways. <laughs> yeah. I think he had a point about going to a strip club with uh, people from work and him and all that. Yeah, well, I mean, and, but even with her, it sounds like he didn't like know that, yeah. that I was going with these other guys. He just said I was going with my friend Christy. I well, see. you said you're going with friends well, I, from work. I did, and like he didn't really know that I was these other guys. Like he didn't right. know I went. Like I haven't told him, and I didn't well, come you... home like till like seven in the morning. And he's uh oh, what happened there? Well, well what, what? Well, hold on. What is he doing that? When you say, uh, I'm going to go to strip club with some folks from work, and then you come home at 7 in the morning, he where he doesn't catch on to that. He doesn't raise an well, eyebrow about that? me, like, at 6, and well, I was, like, and I told him I'd fallen asleep at my friend's house, but I was actually over it. <laughs> the guy is, like, a bunch of us, like, were really drunk, and so we went over to his house and watched a movie so I could sober up because I couldn't drive. But I didn't right. tell my husband that I was over at this other guy's house. What'd you do really there? Huh? What'd you do at the guy's house? Mm -hmm. Remember that thing with the lollipop? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was, uh, no, yeah, well, so I actually thought about it, and that's the bad thing. It's like I've been married You thought about years, it. You I thought, thought you, about it. Yeah, you're drunk. All right, so you're... Married you're, for uh, how long? I, what? Married for how long? For three years. Three years. Why is you married at 19? Maybe that's what this is all well, about. Well, I have, I have two kids, and uh, my first right, one's well, actually not his, and then my uh, second one is... But like when First I was off, you sound like a wonderful, wonderful mother. This is a good time. Talk actually, about role, though. I'm a good mom. Like, I work, and my husband um, goes to school, so I actually support him, and I'm supporting my family, and I, I make pretty good money. I work at a law firm, so... Yeah. What school does uh, your husband attend? P-Whipped Academy? <laughs> no, is there such a place? <laughs> P-Whip you. <laughs> to be a -whip mechanic. You. It's right next to surfboarding <laughs> school. Hey, he's he's going, to school to be, going to school to be a mechanic. Yeah, he's actually going to, I, I don't know, build cars or something, but... Yeah, right. No, it's just <laughs> being a mechanic. A All right. I make pretty good money, so you work, I'm you make good money. right now. All right, so and listen, Shelly, okay, let me, let me explain what's going on here. All right, stop me if I'm wrong. Yes. Okay. Uh, you got married early. Too early. Too early. Uh, you're cute. You're fun. You're, you have a couple of kids, and you got married early, and you're sort of overcompensating a little, trying to you know recapture your youth because you're smack dab in the middle of your youth, right? right. Which is weird when you're attempting to recapture something you're in the middle of. And she's entering the work workforce, and she's got a husband who's sort of a student still, and is going to be a mechanic. Right. And she's this guy's all a, the time. this guy's a little boring. This guy's a little low key. And what this guy's attempting to do, I would say, is he understands Contain he's got you. a little bit of a wild child yeah. here, and he's like trying to sort of throw a little wet blanket on your flame like and i don't mean that in a bad way yeah, he's saying uh, listen okay go ahead. <laughs> i'm not no i'm not gonna no you want to go get wild you want to go to the whatever i'm not going with you right he, he doesn't doesn't sort of endorse it, it doesn't but fuel it go without me I mean, the whole point, Shelley, is he's trying you're to contain the one, you. You're the one that needs containment. And he probably... No, he does go without me. Like, he goes... You, Shelley. You. Said, you, Shelley. Listen. <laughs> name one airplane from World War II. <laughs> Just one. I can't. <laughs> or go... Fire. Veal or venison. What's veal? What? Okay. Here's the point, Shelley. He, your, your husband realizes he's got got a little bit of a nutty broad. He's got a little bit of energy, right? Yeah. Yes, and he's trying to he's trying to reel you in a little bit. Have you have you ever thought about a threesome or anything with him? Well, I have, but he won't. Oh that's, boy, that's, Shelley, that's, hold on a second. Okay. It was Wait, the, yeah. the threesome thing was like was yeah. was like hitting me on the head with yeah. like a snow shovel yeah. since since she came online. Like yeah. he's saying, what it is is here's what it is. She probably got abused, yes, some for some sure. little sexual abuse from stepdad or whatever. Now she's acting out. Yes, and she he is. is like trying to contain her. Look, we got kids. No, I'm not doing the threesome because the thing about the threesome is cool as that might be for the night. The relationship's going to come unravel. Yes, and he knows it on some level. Yes, and the same with the strip club thing. And all these things are sort of traps that seem very tempting. You want to go to the strip club? Yeah, you're going to get loaded. You're going to get on top of some chick. We're yes. going to get into an argument, right. and we're going to get a divorce. Right. And the kids are going to go live with at grandma's house. Right. 
And I think he feels that, and we feel yep. her crazy energy. Yep. So I think this guy's pretty slick. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he got her to marry him when she's 19 with his kid. Somebody else's Not even kids. hers. I so think that's her kid. It's her no, kid. No, no, the first, second one's her kid. No, no, first, first one's kid's hers kid. with a different, hu- different guy. Oh, uh, mine, yeah. Is that yes. correct? Right. Yeah, then he's All right. So, so who said. abused you growing up? <laughs> You're Shelley. chaotic, Shelly. Yeah, this is a really I bad thing. I was abused growing up, but I was sexually active as, at a young age. How old? But see... How old? Thirteen. Okay, mm. that's that's how old was the person that you were sexual with? Forty five. How old was he? Yeah. Well let's see, my dad's sixty three now, so how old was he? Have been. He was sixteen. Mm-hmm. 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 And Still, uh, something was, where's was your, your dad? Did he was an alcoholic? Did he abandon yes. the family? Yes. All right, that's All right. what we're saying. That's that's it's trauma. Like, I I like I try to tell my husband I'm sexual and I like to be sexual and I try. No, Shelly, no, no, you're, you're, not, ca- you're, he, you're not horny. You're me. nutty. You're chaotic. You're chaotic, <laughs> you're, and it just I'm manifests. Horny. And look, it manifests itself in horny. And this may be in addition to there being sort of a character logic thing. There may be bipolarity here. Is there bipolar in your family too? No. no. Okay, but there's alcoholism there and addiction. Alcoholism. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And when did your dad cut out? When I was three. Right. Yeah. But no, now my you need... life till I was probably 13, and then... What were the stepdads like? Um, every other week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you like, know, none you've... of them ever, like, did anything to us, but my mom... No, but mom, your, your, like, mom, your mom was chaotic and set a bad I example and hopped chaotic. from man to man and did all that crap, too. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that. Like, I want to be Well, married, well you then stop doing what you're doing. And stop it, Jelly. Stop, like, stop it. You're setting that up. You're hell bent on sabotaging this marriage. See, and that's what I'm afraid of. Like I'm saying, like, well, can my mom got divorced when I was? Yeah, yeah. Four yeah listen, kids. look, Shelly, like, Shelly, uh, listen to me. Your your family is white trash. They're a chaotic <laughs> mess. Your mom crapped out a bunch of kids. Had a whole bunch of guys, boyfriends, swing by the pad, expose the kids to God knows what, and you started acting out early and often. Now, magically, you got a kid. Dad's down magically, the road. Magically, she's three. You got another kid who is in danger of losing uh, his or her father because you're acting out. You're just doing what your mom did. How about you smarten up, you get some therapy, you stop acting out, and you break this cycle so your kids stand a chance. But see, that's the thing is, I'm not even, like, sure if I want to be married. We've been together since we were, like... Well, Shelly, look. All right, well, then... In high school, and, and, like, I just feel like we've grown apart. Like, I... He does okay, drugs, and do I don't me a like favor, then. Have, have your tubes tied, kids. would you please? I, I and did, right. send the kids good. to... Good, she did. Excellent. Oh, good. Oh, well, oh good. moved up our... Now... Next step, send the kids to surfboarding school in Maui and give them <laughs> a them chance. Educated. Get an educated on uh, not only trade winds, but currents <laughs> and discipline. And sea life. But it's like, and, like, get my husband to be more interested in me. Like, no, Shelly, look. And I think I'm pretty hot. Shelly, like, Shelly. Twice a week. Shall it be therapy, therapy, therapy? You're, you're you crazy. Really need this. You're acting no, out, and you're freaking him out. He he sees he when he looks at you, he just sees a giant pecan nut. <laughs> That's all he does with legs sticking out. <sighs> nut bar. Right, Shelly, you really, you really, you've had been th- through some. Do heavy you want to f your kids up as badly as you got f no, up? Absolutely Is that not. your goal? But oh, uh, listen, kids. listen. Loving to your me. kids, nothing to do with I, it. I hate, I hate to sound all preachy here. Loving your kids doesn't mean anything. The, the, the chick who killed her five kids in the bathtub loved, loved their kids, kids. Yes. too much. Loving your kids is is a BS excuse that everyone so conveniently uses. You're screwing your kids up. I'm sure you love them. Now, f do them something, up. Yeah, now, do, do something, something about, this. about it. Would you? You're, you're, listen, right. Shelly, you're uh, just... just, you're, uh, just uh, luck. Let, let, let me just state it. No, you're, I don't care. Listen, look. Shelly, you had your tubes tied. If you, right. Do you have a girl? I have a girl and a boy. Have her tubes tied. That's it. And then do whatever the F you want. That, that's Here's all. The deal. I'm, I'm not in damage control. Whatever mode. happens in childhood, particularly things that are traumatizing and excessively chaotic, gets acted out in young adult life. That becomes our source of attraction. We act... Uh, it's oh, this cycle that we do. It's wired into our brains. But Drew, just she's just, she's amorous. She's horny. Chick. She's yeah, horny. I know, I know. She just wants to have fun. Yeah. Do you think that no matter what guy she's with, she'll act that way? Yes. Right, so well, she'll have a series of guys. So just one after the other sabotage. She can't She can't be close to a male. And that's so what has to be worked out in therapy. She's a mess. It's just the kids that uh, we have to deal with later on in life. And I'm serious. These are, We got to deal with them. These are the... Uh, these are, we got to have the uh, clinics. We got to have the prisons. We got to have... Uh, the welfare, we got to have all the systems in place for the kids of uh, young Shelly who are, we're going to have to deal with. Their daughter's going to be pregnant at 15, so on and so forth. That's the way it goes, mm-hmm. everybody. Should she make it a priority to, to stick with uh, her husband? She won't do it. Not, not without treatment. 
Sure. Now, she's, she's, your advice would be to her that she she's got to get treatment. treatment. Got to get, get, get treatment. She's going to sabotage, going to be done. And now, magically, she'll have two kids yes. with uh, no dad around. Yes, right. Right. At the same age, at three, right? We've been playing a, a bravery song for uh, about an hour now. And have got to it yet, because I'm sure you're getting all preachy tonight. Right. That's all. I right, do. All right, when we come back, we hear a song for the bravery, yes? Yes. All right, after this. <laughs> Bravery in studio tonight. We, uh, they've been, uh, good soldiers. Drew's, uh, had an ass full tonight. My, uh, I'm just ass worried about, over I'm too. worried about my show, which people need Drew's to look, need to tune in Discovery Health Show. <laughs> what a shock that you're worried about something, Drew. <laughs> I know. I'm Come not on. seem like that kind of guy, do I? Please, everyone. Drew has three children. They're all in, enrolled in what what academy, Drew? Little Lord Fauntleroy School of uh, Biohemophiliacs. Yes. That's right, which runs you more than surfboarding school. Uh, it's uh, pretty close. It's, it's comparable. You gotta, they got a travel expense to serve boarding school, so. Y yeah. And, uh, those kids. And then college. What's college? Seriously, per, per puss, how much? If they go to private school? Private college. Private college? By the time my kids are 18? Yeah. They're predicting about $300,000. 300000 oh. That's their prediction That's, for that's for four years? Yeah. That's a bachelor's. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Three hundred piece. Yeah. So you got, so it's about a million bucks. You yeah. got the three kids, right? Yeah, or more. Right? And, and then what do you figure for rehab? Eating uh, disorders, who knows, who knows methadone, and stuff like that. <laughs> Drive them nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's hear a little something from the bravery. They've uh, been sitting here listening to me uh, yap off uh, all night. Yap I keep off. promising to play a song, and I never do. But now we're going to start. You ready, everyone? This one is called Fearless on the Minority. Yes. Thank you. Huh? I'm just going to open. I, I'm, just, I'm just on these uh, Jim Jones type rants in here. I'm just going <laughs> to buy some land in French Guiana and just move everyone there. Come on, let's go. Let's yeah. go. No red arrows, no screwed up mobs. Let's do it, everyone. Yes, uh, that is the bravery going out on a tour soon and uh, going to be on the uh, Tonight Show tonight with uh, Jay Leno. Take ourselves a uh, quick. Oh, really? No, we can take a call. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Who's been on hold the longest? Yeah. The one I've got. Wow, through. Yeah. Look at you. Jason? Hey. 25? Yeah. Girlfriend has warts? Well, I, I met this girl, and and uh, she just told me that... Boring. <laughs> oh, come she on. Made, she told you what? She, she told me that she has HPV. Oh! Right, right. But hmm. she said that her last outbreak was, I think, like five years ago. And oh, that's interesting. They do burn themselves they out do. Now. Some of them do burn themselves out, and five years is about the duration after which they tend to sort of uh, disappear. Some of them. Yeah. Some do persist, and those are the ones that are associated with cervical cancer. Mm -hmm. You might ask her whether she's really had a severely abnormal pap smear or not. If not... It's going to be love. That's going to be lovely be pillow talk. talk. Yes. Yeah. So, any dysplasia? <laughs> yeah. Can I see your slides? Any cancer cells? Yes. Any squamous uh, cell abnormalities? Anyway. Yes. The, um, the fact is that... Uh, it may be limited to very little or none, but mm. there's always a possibility she still has the virus around, and if she has it, you will contract it. Let me tell you about wart uh, days or years since last wart uh, breakout, by the way. You have to do a sort of uh, different math. kind of math that we do. It's it's like the math you do when a chick's telling you how much she weighs on the Internet, but it's the exact <laughs> opposite. So she's <laughs> they're, they're shortening the time. Yes. On the Internet, go ahead and double whatever it is. This, half cut it. it in half. So if she says five years, she means two and a half. That's what I'm right. saying. And wear a condom. <laughs> that reduces your risk. I got somewhat. a laminated thing I keep my wallet that it can help you out, little, by little, the way. It's uh, a scale conversion thing. Scale? It's a conversion <laughs> scale. That's not. What's that you're Hold on. It could get confusing when they combine them. Like, you're talking to a chick on the internet who has warts. And oh, yeah. she's like, well, I'm 141 pounds, and I've, 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 I've been herpy. I've been wart-free for five years. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Well, I'm sliding might, it down. They might use the metric. I mean, come on. Right. <laughs> All right. I don't know what Jason's follow-up was, but we answered his first one, and that's good enough for me to sleep tonight. Okay, fair enough. We'll take a quick break. Be right back after this. <laughs> That's the show. I want to thank the Bravery for coming in here tonight. God bless the Bravery. I want people to please tune into my Discovery Health Channel show. <laughs> right now, midnight. I'm going to discover that later. Thank you. We'll and, be tuning in. And uh, they're going to be on the uh, Tonight Show tonight with Jay Leno. Uh, in literally like 15 minutes. Yeah. Literally. So poise yourself. Crack a beer. 
and uh, position your assume the position, to, the position to be rocked. That is, <laughs> yeah. What is that position, by the way? I'll show yeah. it to you during, uh, during this uh, first break. Spring. Yeah. Hey, the uh, offspring, our good old friends, the offspring, are coming right. in uh, Thursday night. Maybe we'll go flying finally. Oh, Dexter, uh -huh. yeah, keeps wanting to take me up in his jet. One of his jets. <laughs> he has multiple jets. I think he flies them simultaneously, mm -hmm. too. He has that <laughs> other like one. like when John plays keyboards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, no, no, but lower. One's got to be lower. All right. We'll uh, take a little extendo break. And until next time, this is Adam Kroll for Dr. Drew saying mahalo. This has been Loveline. Loveline. The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. Or the, 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 the producer for Loveline is Annie Gold. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.